Welcome to another edition of Play It Through, and this time around it's DuckTales, brought to us by Capcom. Now this is an all-time classic and one of my personal favorites from my youth. All the Disney Capcom games are great, and this one was one of the probably most popular of all the Disney Capcom games. A lot of that has to do with not only the popularity of the DuckTales cartoon, but the music and the gameplay of this game just stands out. Even though it's a relatively short game, it's still a lot of fun to play. Like some other Capcom games, you start off with a selection screen, you get to choose what level you want to go to first, you can complete the levels in any order you would like to, but by going to certain levels, you end up getting sent back to other ones, so I'm just going to go ahead and start doing them in the order that they're listed. We start off with the Amazon. Now in this run of the game, I'm going to show you where a lot of the special treasures are, where I'm going to show you the locations of almost every extra life that I know of in the game, uh, the special hidden treasures that lead to and help you get the special ending. Uh, which I probably will not be getting in the run of this game because it requires you to get overall 10 million uh, dollars to your total account. And in order to do that for a lot of it, what you have to do is play through a lot of the level, and then you can use Launchpad to take you back to Duckburg so that you can then redo the level again and collect all like the miscellaneous treasure chests that will then respawn uh, after you come back to the level. One of the things that makes this game so interesting is that you have that cane hopping ability. And in this game, you had to hold down and then press the button in order to pull out the cane. Uh, in the Game Boy ports of the game, as well as the sequel, DuckTales 2, they made it just press the button so you didn't have to hold down anymore. Before I'm going to head up the vine to actually continue on the level, I'm first going to go over to the left real fast to show another little uh, area where you can grab some extra money. Uh, go up this middle vine here, and you'll have two extra little treasure chests that you can grab for uh, two extra diamonds. You have different, you know, different diamonds do different things. You have the red diamonds give you more than like the yellow or white uh, diamonds. Some of the other things, obviously, you can grab are extra lice from chests as well as ice creams that give you one piece of your health back, or cakes that refill your health all the way back up. Now, as you can see, I only have three health bars right now. Uh, you actually can find two other health bars, and I'll show the locations of both of them throughout the game. You actually have to find them in levels. Now I am playing on the difficult setting, which basically every enemy is going to take away one full health thing, but on the easier difficulties they won't take away as much health, and, and it's a good place to start if you've never played the game before so you don't really know where the enemies are coming from and such. Uh, that little area I just did there with launch pad flying and I grabbed on to the helicopter and then got myself over is actually one of the tougher jumps I think to make in the entire game, because it's sometimes hard to even attach to the helicopter. Uh, and then you also have that bee that will spawn either from the left or the right and come at you if he knocks you off and uh, usually right into the pit. Unless you're far enough to the left or right, you can somehow recover and get to the platform. Now somehow Launchpad already left his vehicle and was just standing there. And you'll see him once in every single level, uh, just kind of standing, hanging out. And if you go up to him, he'll ask you if you want to leave the level uh, and then return to Duckburg so then you can then come back to the level and get all the money again. Uh, that time I just talked to him real fast just so he would shut up so I could get over him to that hidden area and grab the, ex those extra diamonds. Uh, like, there's no button to talk to people, you just walk into them and you and talk to them. You can avoid some of them if you time your jump correctly over them just so you don't have to waste a little time of uh, the little text menu, because usually they're going to give you hints and stuff. Uh, but if you've played the game before, or in my case, you know, showing everyone what to do, I know what I'm going to be doing ahead of time, so I don't really need the to read what they're saying. Uh, right there, you could either talk to that statue that was down there in order and pay in order to get up here, like a platform will show up if you pay, or you can do what I did, force one of those enemies to walk over there, and then bounce off his head to get up to that vine on the top. Now here is actually the first boss of the game, it's like a walking totem, and he just slides a little bit and then he does a big jump all the way into the center of the screen. He's very easy to hit. Uh, every enemy in both DuckTales 1 and 2 take 5 hits to take out, and this will be one more, he's taken care of, and after you beat him, they all drop the treasure for that specific level. The first boss always, of course, is going to be a pretty easy boss, it's just watching out for him, and you don't want to try to jump over him when he's getting ready to do his jump, or you'll get hit. Really simple stuff. Now after completing the first level of the Amazon, I'm now going to head to Transylvania, the Haunted Mansion-esque level. In here, we uh, have the first instances of like walls that you can walk through, as well as we uh, have these mirrors that will take us to different places uh, in the level. 
Now, I'm not an expert, like, at finding every little tiny diamond in the game. I just know where a lot of stuff I found over the years, so... And I really don't know the fastest route in this level, uh, to find everything. I know how to get right from the beginning right to the end real fast, but... In terms of finding everything, I'm just kind of creating my own path as I go here. Uh, I headed over to the right all the way first, and you get down to this special area and hop along these spikes. And you get to a big room filled with chests, containing a lot of diamonds as well as some health pluses and stuff if you've taken damage. And then you have this mirror right here that takes you right back to the first room. Now that mirror right there is going to be important for us in just a little bit. Uh, we actually will have to come back to this level and use that specific mirror. But for right now, it just uses to teleport us here, and we can't use it to go to that other area that is going to be important later. Doesn't really make sense why it doesn't work now, but I'll show you what that does in a little bit. Now I'm just grabbing a couple extra chests. Now these enemies, you can either knock the ball into them, or you can just jump right on top of their head to take them out. But all the way to the right here is one of the walls you can walk through that leads to this treasure chest that gives us our first of our two health upgrades. Which is very useful, especially on the harder difficulty, because, you know, having three hits and then dying, uh, it's a lot better to have, obviously, four hits. Now, first I'm going to take this upper path to take to this mirror, which leads us to a minecart. You have to duck real quick, and then be careful about jumping out there, because if you wait, if you do it too early, you won't be able to move to the left. You'll just, like, kind of hit the wall, and if you jump out, obviously, too late, you're going to fall into the pit. Now, I'm going to head down this ladder real fast to grab these extra chests. Uh, as you saw when I springboarded into the corner there, of each side, they gave me an extra diamond. And that's a lot of finding some of these diamonds in the game, is just walking on certain areas, either hopping into them or just jumping headfirst onto them, will give you random chests sometimes. Just took damage there, but I was able to get an ice cream right away. Now I climbed back up the ladder and head to the right here, grab an extra life, and I'll head down here and leads to this uh, area, which is right near uh, where we took the mirror to get into the minecart area. So that's actually where we're going to be heading back now. Take out a few guys. Okay, now back here we're going to instead go under the mirror to this room, which is two set of mirrors. We're going to take the right one that's going to lead us to the boss. The left one was going to put us actually back uh, in the armor room that we just came from. It would take us farther into that room, which doesn't really hold any real treasures or anything. Now here's the second boss, which is Magic and Dispel, one of the actual enemies from the DuckTales cartoon. And what she does is she flies around as the Vulture, and then she'll come down and launch these three uh, lightning bolts out. And obviously the best time to hit her is right before she throws out the lightning bolts, and you jump over them so they don't hit you, uh, as well as she doesn't do any damage to you as she's in the Vulture form. Sometimes she does turn to the Vulture pretty low, so that you can actually just hop right on her head like I was able to uh, for the last two hits there. But once she's taken out, you get the next treasure, and the next level is now complete as we'll go back to our big computer in Duckburg and rack up our money total, which you can see I'm over 2 million now. I'll actually be over almost 3 million. As I will now head to the African Mines, and this is probably my least favorite level of the five, but when you come over here, you will find out that you need a key in order to advance, and the key is in Transylvania. So it takes you right to Transylvania, in which case now we got to jump up into that mirror I mentioned earlier. It takes us to another room with a ch chest in the middle of it, it's going to give us the key that we need for the mines. I'm not really sure why that this little part was thrown in there, just other than to you know, make the game slightly longer. Or maybe try to trick some people, thinking that this mirror didn't do anything the first time, so why would it have done something the second time? But, uh, it doesn't really do too much, but... Grab that key real quick, and now you actually can go ahead and do, uh, the African Mine level. Grab some diamonds there. Now, this level actually contains the first of the two special hidden treasures, which are worth as much as, like, the treasure we get for completing a level. It's actually worth, uh, worth an extra million. So, overall, you have the five one million uh, treasures for beating each level, and then the two special ones. So you have a total of seven million. And then you have to find about three million, uh, just randomly throughout levels in order to get the special ending. Now, I went through that wall real quick, and I grabbed from the big chest the extra life. And now I'm going to head over to the right, past that chain. And there's Mrs. Beakley, just going to throw you random health if you don't have it. This is one of the harder parts, jumping on those random ducks that jump out of the pit. But after you jump over their heads, there's the pogo, you end up finding the hidden treasure. So there is the first of those two. Now I'm going to grab that diamond real quick and head to the left here. And we're actually going to be taken all the way uh, to the ending of the level. Like I said, 
not my favorite level, so I'm not really going to explore it too much, and there really isn't too much else to find. 